forgot about it. Yeah, yeah. Look at my numbers, I did a whole lot without them. Whole lot without yeah. them. Nick. Still never dropped the mixtape, but I dropped the album. I did. Look. Been singing so much, these niggas forgot I had it. They forgot that I started rapping. Hold Look, up. probably won't reply if the thread turn green. No, no. Get it on the record, black men don't cheat. Yeah. Niggas want to smoke, but they pin no E. Yeah, I upgraded, but you been no fleek. Oh, fleek. Niggas taking L's, keep a win on me. Yes. I thought I told you we undefeated. They always talking like this ain't season. Step in the boot chase, they hold the meaning. Let's talk about uh, Darnell's favorite group. You love the Migos. They ain't, they ain't a joke right there. Before you talk trash about the Migos, they're from the hometown too. Mm. Hey, who the best Migos? <laughs> yeah. Take off. You yeah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, come on, man. I now. thought you said, yeah, you I said thought, oh, someone silenced the anti hero. <laughs> nah, take off, man. Yeah. I thought he was going to say something else. I wasn't expecting him to say take off. Oh, nah. Who had the best Who had the best solo album of the Migos? Mm. Offset? Yep. Yeah, yeah I'm down. about to say, I got to go with Offset. It's Offset, yeah. hands down. Can I read a little backstory of these? Why the, uh, these uh, three individuals are on our screen right now? Yeah. Migos sued their lawyer over conflict of interest and excessive fees. Claimed the lawyer robbed and cheated the three out of millions of dollars. Mm. So, this sounds like a, a story right now in um, daily hip hop circles. Yeah. Migos is suing their attorney over excessive fees as well as a conflict of interest, according to the Hollywood Reporter. Court documents were filed on behalf of the music trio, accusing uh, the attorney, uh, Damian Granderson, of taking excessive fees from the group without written consent. The lawsuit, which names Granderson's current law form, a law firm, I'm not going to read that. And his prior firm claims the lawyers uh, robbed and cheated the three out of millions of dollars. Uh, Granson also works for um, uh, QC2 as well. Mm-hmm. Pretty much QC gave him a lawyer, gave him their lawyer. So who's the lawyer going to look out for? QC. The label. Exactly. That's the where label. the real most yeah. money coming from. Yeah. So what was the conflict of interest? Them not making sure of the consent? The lawyer so, worked for both of them. The lawyer didn't tell them that he also worked for the label. It's up to the lawyer to reveal. That there's a conflict of interest. No, by law, it's on the lawyer. The lawyer has you to right. reveal by You're law. Right. And they lost so much money in the process, too, as well. But it's up to them, too. Well, so this is the thing, too, as well. They didn't, so, know, they didn't give you a chance this, to be up to them. It's the thing about hip-hop, as well. And I talked to, uh, shout out to Tracy and Will Bowser, too. I talked to them a little bit earlier about this. Uh, also, you can you can weigh on this, too, as well. When it comes to contracts, these music contracts are written in such a way mm-hmm. that, for what I understand, too, is that even top lawyers have a hard time deciphering it because there's so much gray area. It can go one way or the other, depending on, on the situation. Right. Mm-hmm. It's not really, like, really set in stone. Okay. Right. Um, I mean, you can be taken back even further than this. Uh, Diddy, the contract he gave uh, the locks. Mm-hmm. Jada mm-hmm. Styles P, uh, Sheik. Will Will told us about that exactly. We was there on the couch that one day. Yeah. Back, yep, Doing yeah, back in the old apartment. Yeah, shout out to Will. Shout out to Will. Touch. Um, they got it pretty much was a deal for like ni- the nineteen fifties. They signed. Yeah, <laughs> and they all like got eleven percent like all together, and then he made the rest of the money. Some Cadillac yep. record shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. but they, literally, yeah. Yeah. yeah, literally. But the big thing about QC is that they, they they the way they moved about was like you know all together we're together like a family almost. Yeah, and to see this happen right here is um. It, it hurts too as well. Now another Are question. Are you surprised? I, Am I surprised? I was just about no. to. That's okay. just what I was about to say. You, I'm not surprised after, at all. After mm-hmm. Wayne and Baby, I'm not surprised about nothing. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, they, they got a like father like son two coming out too. But well, Wayne about to, it's Wayne not going there right spaz. now. I guarantee you, Wayne about to spaz on it's that. It's on job. the way. I promise you, because it's it's gonna be new. Wayne about to spaz. Every new record, Wayne is on spaz. We'll uh we'll get back to Wayne on that one right there. I Y'all heard other, the West Popping remix? Thoughts. I got some Spazzed. other thoughts on that one right there. Uh, your, your thoughts are antiquated. <laughs> <laughs> hey, antiquated is like 05 Wayne. Yeah, pretty much. Squad up Wayne. The best Wayne. <laughs> no, nah, but um nah, the best, best far- Wayne. Best Wayne 06 to 09. Hey, but uh as far as oh so, so we get a Wayne conversation another day. But as far as Migos, <laughs> we'll be here all night with that shit. Yeah. Uh quick question around the room. Do you think Migos has fell off? Past two years, fell off. Nah, they getting money yeah. off royalty. I mean, no, no, I ain't talking about that right there. I'm talking about current like music. When's the last hit Migos had? It's like a couple months ago, wasn't it? Who left me off Bad and Bougie? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was like 2016. They, bad and they haven't you had a they bad haven't bad had a hit <laughs> in a minute, but I don't think they fell off. I think they just focused on other avenues. Yeah, Migos they, cannot they just, fall they off. They spending that I mean, money, man. Yeah. You got you know Quavo went. They they're slowly going their separate ways. Yeah, they all had their old solo album. Yeah, right. so like they did that. And Migos cannot fall off. They it's can't. it's literally impossible. Migos is the the next iteration 
of two chains in Atlanta. Two chains will never fall off. Two chains will never die. Two chains is Atlanta. Well, you being Atlanta, what do you think? There's people better than them right now. No, I'm not saying they won't be have other Ooh, people better. If they put something. If he, but if I'm they, just they, saying if they put if they put something out. We gonna listen. We gonna listen. They gonna live forever. Yeah. Which and group? They're, they're which group the, better? They're, they're the they're, fathers yeah, of the yeah, new they, sound yeah, in Atlanta. The failure is um, if they were to fail, it would be of their own demise. Yes, a hundred percent. All right. I uh, yeah. I agree. Which group is better than them right now? Just asking. A group? Are there any groups no, out yeah, there? Groups I was like that. I mean, he said there's people out there better than them. I mean, individual no, individual artists. Artists. Individual in Atlanta, artists. who's eating in Atlanta right now? Mm-hmm. Do we have to ask that question? Who y'all think eating in Atlanta right now? Lil Baby? I mean, that's already. I mean, you told yeah, some, I like you told somebody different. I mean, that's yeah, already. I'm a fan yeah, of Lil, Lil Baby. Baby's like behind Atlanta at this point. Yeah, yeah but I mean, Migos is yeah. too. You go yeah, to yeah, foreign Migos is worldwide. When that's you get played in a foreign country, yeah. Yeah, because like in the foreign country, your music lasts forever. Yes. And that's what I'm saying. Migos cannot. They cannot fall off. It's it's they Migos is as close to okay. Watch your words. Hear, hear this. <laughs> hear this right. Hear, hear this proper. All right. Hear this proper. Because because I'm about to say Drake's name. All right. Shocking. And when I say Drake, <laughs> I need y'all Shout to understand. Shout out to Thomas Wayne. Yeah. I need y'all to understand. Drake <laughs> All right. can never fall off. Drake can never fail. Drake, Drake can never fall miss. off. He never Drake will. Drake is solidified. He's the king of music. Okay. okay? I don't care what nobody says. I'm hear the whole thing out before I say anything. Migos, in my opinion, now I'm not an Atlanta nigga. We got one here, so he can speak to Atlanta better than me. Mm-hmm. But I'm cultured. When I talk about what I hear out of Atlanta. Right, Migos being the father of the sound. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Mainstream. Who who did the Migos flow that stuck and made it stick before them? Nobody. Nobody. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Even Drake took the Migos. Yeah, flow. Bone hey. Thugs and Harmony was the first uh, mumble he, rappers. He, yeah. he said of the new sound though. No, he but, said yeah, that's be, what I'm he saying. Said I mean, before talking, them. But no, like he saying. But I'm talking about sound, Migos when sound. I, when I say his sound, oh, okay. it, like their sound. Their sound Every, is unique. Everybody but copied them. When you're after in Atlanta, Versace. when you're in Atlanta, so I don't know if they still do this here because I've been gone for so long. Mm-hmm. If they got this thing on the radio called Dig It or Dish It, right? People come out and they put music out, and they may not go. They may not have the drive. Stuff may happen. There's some dudes in jail right now that's mm-hmm. probably hotter than them because they, you know. Mm-hmm. They I mean, but there shit. was a ball player better than Jordan that didn't make it to the league, so Absolutely. that don't matter to me. Shout out Lynn Bias. Hey. So that don't matter to me. Girl, the goat. Fight me, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you saying that because y'all got the same last name? I know. I found out when I was like seventeen. We we're like loosely related by like eighteen cousins. So watch your mouth. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I'm like sorry. Go, that's a goat coach. That's a I'm new sorry. goat coach. Yeah. So, but not like now. Nah, like <laughs> when Amigos first came out, honestly, in Atlanta, we didn't give them a chance mm. at first. At first, when now when you come out to us and come out to. It's, it's, it's probably years of difference. Yeah, yeah so like it's years I of difference. I, I didn't. I, I counted them out. Like there's some people that come out the rip. Like yeah, they hitting. I want. Right. I want the mixtape out the mall for five dollars. Right. I did, I wouldn't get. I didn't give Migos a chance at first. But you know that happens with a lot of hometown rappers. Yeah. Yeah. But it's but not in Atlanta though. Wale. No, y'all in Atlanta are known hey. for <laughs> y'all are known for the OGs looking for the next sound to put as on. of late. Yes. I feel like I always. That's been known all for that. I've ever known. Yeah. But you Atlanta. got everybody that say, "Hey, yo, you know, and they come up in Atlanta and they and they doing this and like, what's your backstory? Well, you know, I lived in Alabama, came here like what year? Like like six months ago. Then you just kind of fall off. You may be raw as shit. Yeah, yeah. But time, yeah. man, you can't. You yeah, can't, you can't. Talk, yeah, you, you can't, can't just move to Atlanta. And and your rap may that nigga, your, rap rap say, your rap may say you out here doing this, that, and the other, and all mm-hmm. that stuff. But you can't do none of that in East Atlanta, West Atlanta, you know, squats. And, but that's what I'm Pittsburgh, saying. None of that y'all shit. take care of y'all home. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. y'all artists yeah, that are. Mm-hmm. From the dirt, that's the OGs everybody. are looking at them. Yeah, anybody from Atlanta, we gonna ride for. And, and that's what I'm saying. Y'all, y'all are known for that. To me, in yeah. the rap game, honestly, if you are born or if you're born or spend most of your adolescence or you put your time in in Atlanta, mm-hmm. you have the best chance of blowing up. I don't care. Better than from New York. Better than from LA, better than from Texas. Yeah. Atlanta is the place. If you grind, you have hard. no excuse. If yeah, you if yeah, you Atlanta yeah. brand, you grind hard. There is no excuse to yeah. not make it in Atlanta. A hundred percent. You take mm. your shit to a strip club. Your shit ride is in there. 100%. Bruh, from in high school, Atlanta. 
I mean, they just owned it. That's, that's all, all I remember. That's was Atlanta. all I listened to. Was Atlanta? Yeah. Luda, Chris, Ti, and Lil Flip. That's all. Well, wait, 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 Lil Flip is not from Atlanta. No, he's no. Texas. I'm saying no. Okay. I'm saying who I listened to. Just let y'all know. I ain't gonna let that ride hometown. <laughs> I just said who I listened to. But I said Ludacris and T.I. first Yes you did But I yeah. also listened to Ludacris nah, I know he hit I just, want, I just want the rest of the world to understand Right He, he knows, know. he knows. Oh, Because oh, I okay. do know people who always thought Flip was from Atlanta Who? I know people who always thought Flip was oh, from Atlanta We ain't got no Cloverland Cloverland? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't I, I don't that know That sound is nothing of Atlanta I'm nah, just telling that's you straight. what I, I'm just telling you yeah. what I was told Alright Was it, 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 it you that believed it? Hell no! Nah. <laughs> Bring him on the podcast. Don't let yeah, him on music don't too feel. much. He'll come I here with a uh, pack wax Atlanta, and nuts. I love Atlanta in general, <laughs> but I love him at, at Atlanta. The artists that I've been put on from Atlanta, I love them too much to ever disrespect them in that way. There's so much music coming out of Atlanta for a guy who's never done music. I can judge other people's music based off of who I seen came up and the people I'm around because everybody knows a producer if you live there long. Yeah, enough. yeah. Like, hey man, well my boy who popped. I mean, not my boy, but you know, I was in the studio and this dude was here, and he turned out to be what name a rapper, right? Right. Like, and I, you know, you sit there, you kick with him, you hear, and you're like, yeah, you're doing this and this and this wrong. If you want to make this, but this is somebody who never fucking did music before, right? But I mean, you know, as a consumer, you know what you want, but it's bigger than the consumer. Yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah. to tell you what the consumer because there's consumers who I want, don't know yeah. how to tell you what you need. There's a lot of consumers like I'm gonna tell you how it is what the consumer wants, and I'm gonna tell you what the um. With the people who's gonna pay you looking for it. exactly mm. so exactly yeah and as far as me goes too I've, um I just hope everything works out yeah wherever it is I know Coach K he came out with a statement too as well said everything's negotiable as far as their contract so yeah. they the hottest thing on QC what right now I believe so oh, not nah, baby on, baby on QC well yeah baby on QC but I'm saying but strictly QC well now you got QC. Young Rich Nation, all the sub like three hundred entertainment, yeah, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, but that, yeah, that's yeah. what I was gonna say too. When it comes to contracts in, in the in the music industry specifically, Talk rap like. is you can have you can have one artist be signed to three different labels. That's weird. Yeah. I mean, it just it blows my mind trying to figure out the paper trail with that with yeah, legal documents. It's so and many stuff. different yeah. things. Like, so where's I the money be, going? I could be with QC as a a, a writer. I could be signed to Rock Nation as a producer. I could be signed to 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 um, Columbia Records as an actual artist. I could be signed to Three Hundred in a group with other with with one or two yeah. other people, How and I, I could have all of these record deals at the same time without a conflict of interest. And as a as a as a mm. um, artist, I'm asking you. Um, how do how does that work? Like, how can you put out? Because like you know how some people like when. This rapper and this rapper, this entertainer, this entertainer yeah. get together. That shit fire. Right. And then there's the other label who's paying them to do one thing. I'm like, well, shit, your shit's not the same when you yeah. with him. Mm-hmm. How does that work as far as money? Do they p- put pressure on the artist? Like, hey, we want that heat. Well, see, it, it. I think it would depend on when you got signed and who came first. Okay. Because... Me, I could sit here and say, because I got a, a, a joint album with Low Key Lonely, who was on the pod last week. Shout, shout out, Low Key. Yeah, um, shout out, man. I got a joint album with him, right? I sound nothing like I sound solo. Exactly. On that joint album, because he brings a hype that I go to match. You're not to say one's better than the other, it's just they're right. different. It's so different. It, it hits a different fan base, but you got to understand from the label's point of view, now you're crossing over and there's a greater chance that you bring those fans into yeah. back to us and not mm. only just those fans your connections with those artists okay those artists contracts come up eventually all right they gotta sign a new contract sometime i got a b-side mm. conversation with you but i, I want we'll to talk about it sometimes it starts with d-word and it's not it's not the I got another D-word for you, the D&D. Thank you, Jenny. Awesome. Come on, bro, a hug, tell the nigga stay dangerous.